everyone, it's me, Marquita, with Marquita LV Luxury. And on today, this video is going to be so interesting, guys, and probably very funny because I'm blunt, I'm honest. Um, I let you guys know if I like something, if I don't like something, I just like giving my honest opinion. So I went through my many, many emails and picked out the five top questions you guys were asking me. Um, I didn't get a chance to go through every one. Um, it was a lot of emails. So just bear with me. I will try my best to answer as many as possible. But these five questions I thought would be a good topic to discuss and answer all of the questions. And for those that want to ask the same question, I hope you get your answers today. So go get your coffee, go get your tea, go get a light snack, and hurry back. Okay, before we get started, I want to thank you all for all of the positive comments, the positive emails you guys send me on a daily basis, especially ones that reach out to me on my Instagram page and my DM just speaking and telling me how much you love my videos and my content. I do this for you guys. I really appreciate you guys being here and just being my friends on um, Instagram. It means a lot to me. But also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let your friends know how fun we have over here. And I just love you guys so very much. Okay, guys. So, I have my handy notebook here to the side. I had plenty of emails asking me about varnished leather and the unprint leather. Which one do I prefer? And have I experienced any damage to the bags or any scratches at all? Well... As you can see, I do have bags in the burnish leather, which I absolutely adore. Have the sack flag, most definitely the fleecy. And I have bags also in the on front leather. And of course, my favorite because of the rose valerie pink. Okay, so to answer your question, I have not experienced any damage with the umprunt or the varnish leather at all, the varnish leather. Actually, they're both the same. I haven't had any issues at all. I've had this bag the longest and it's been thrown around a lot. When I first purchased this bag, I wore it every day. I didn't even care if it didn't match my outfit. <laughs> I wore it every day. I have not one scratch on it at all. So the wear and tear is absolutely great with this material. So just speaking on my behalf, I know I received emails saying that a couple of people and a couple of YouTube channels say that it they get scratches on their bags. They get marks on it. Like I said, I haven't experienced, I only can be honest on my end, and you know if I if I did experience that, I will let you guys know. I absolutely love it. So just to answer that email, I haven't experienced anything, any scratches on these bags at all in this material. With the unprint leather, it is softer, guys. It is softer, and of course, I haven't experienced it at all either with these bags. Um, I would say this probably will get damaged faster than the Vernus leather. I could be wrong, but I absolutely love the material. No issues at all. The only thing that I probably would worry about with the unprunt leather is the color transfer. Um, I've seen a, a, quite a few YouTube um, channels that say that they had issues with color transfer and I can see that absolutely happening. But as far as me, I do care for my bags. I try to keep them in dust bags if I'm not wearing them. I keep the straps inside of the bags um, just to just try to keep them as well preserved as possible. Um, I'm not going to sell any of my bags at all. Um, they're going to be passed down to my daughter. So I just try to keep them in great condition. So to answer your question, I haven't experienced any issues with the Vernon's leather with any scratches or anything, or with the on-print material. But if I had to pick my favorite, it would be the on-print. The soft material, and I just love how the LV is embedded into this material, guys. You can't go wrong. 
This is absolutely beautiful. And my favorite color for the um print is the black. I love, love, love the rose ballerine pink so, so very much. But it's just something about this black and the gold hardware. Okay, so I hope I answered your question um, as far as the varnished leather and the um front leather. I haven't experienced any scratches. I haven't experienced any damages. And like I stated, I had this bag for a very long time and I wore it basically, like I said, when I first got it every day and I don't have a mark on this bag, okay? So let's move to the next question. Okay guys, so the next question was, do I collect LB perfume, the clone? Answer is yes, I absolutely do. <laughs> As you can see, this is how I keep it on my shelf in my room. And I absolutely love them. Um, I'm not going to go over each and every one of them because I just can't pronounce them. <laughs> so that'll probably come in another video. But I absolutely do love the perfume. I love the cologne. My husband collects them as well. So I do have them sitting on my shelf. Um, I do have two favorites. And I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly. Um, Apogee, Apogee. I absolutely love this smell. And the rose. It says rose that's Vince. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not the best at pronouncing these names. But these are my two favorite. As you can see, this is almost gone. So I will be going to my SA to get a refill. Um, I do have two California Dreams that I absolutely, I love the scent, but guys, being honest, I do have to say the scent does not stay on you long as, at all. It does not stay on you long at all. That's probably the only thing that I can say about the LV perfume. Um, you probably would get a good hour or two out of the scent. So, um... You might have to carry it in your purse or get a travel size to carry it in your purse, but that, that's the down part of it. But to answer your question, I do love the LV perfume. And in the middle, I do have this beauty sitting in the middle. And this is where I usually keep um, some of my lock and keys in here. But I just basically use this as decoration and I put her right there in the middle. And this is how it sits on my shelf. So at the moment, I do have seven. There is a few more that I want to try. But again, keep it in mind, the scent does not stay on you long at all. Okay? And after I do a little bit more research, I will get the names and try to pronounce them correctly for you guys. The only thing I go by now is the scent. So I just go in there. If I see the bottle, um, I try it out inside the store and I just go by scent, not the name. Okay? So let's move on to the next question. Okay. So the next question is, Marquita, do you collect other designer bags? I don't collect them, but I do have a few. So I wouldn't say collect. I collect LV. These are the bags I have to like them. Or like with this Gucci bag, I only purchased this because I had an outfit with this same green inside. And I was in the Galleria and I needed a quick bag. And so I purchased this crossbody. I love crossbody. So I purchased this crossbody. Um, I don't wear her anymore. I would say I wore her twice before so i don't wear her at all so this is one gucci bag i just have one gucci bag i do have a couple of fendies that my sister has because she is a fendi collector i think i have five fendi bags um and my sister has four and i purchased this little cutie and i purchased this in january 2019 um it's almost been a year and I still haven't worn her yet. <laughs> so I did purchase this, like I said, in January of 2019. Um, she has still been sitting in my closet. I saw her and she was just so cute to me. And so I did purchase her. I absolutely love 
how it looks and the quality seems awesome. It still has the paper stuffing inside. I love that it's just a little tote. Um, it doesn't come with a cross body strap. So it's just like a little tote bag. Very cute, quick store run or whatever. But um, I haven't worn her yet. I am starting to like Chanel a little bit. Um, but I just feel like every time I purchase a bag, it's like I'm having an affair on LV. It's so strange, guys. Um, but I do feel that way. So I do like Dior. So I might purchase a Dior bag. And it is one more Fendi bag that I saw on the website that I might purchase with a belt. So I'm still LV in love with LV, but there are a few bags that I do see that I say that, hey, I like, or I can see me wearing it with a certain outfit, but as far as collecting, I wouldn't collect anything but LV. And guys, <laughs> this could, this will show you that I, I don't wear this bag. I've never worn this bag. I actually look down inside and look, it does have a strap. So this whole time I had purchased and I didn't even know it had a crossbody strap to it. So that's a plus. So whenever I do decide to wear her, you see, so it has different levels. So it does come with a crossbody strap. I know I recently said it doesn't, but I look in the bag that lets you know I really didn't even pay attention to it. But um, it does have a crossbody strap, so I just wanted to correct that just in case you guys do want to purchase this bag. It does come with a crossbody strap, which for me is a bonus. So it might take this up a notch. So you might see me in this. <laughs> you might see me in this. So to answer your question, yes, I have purchased other um, luxury bags. Um, I do like Fendi. I absolutely like Fendi. And Chanel, I'm starting to, like I said, eye a couple of bags with the Chanel and most definitely Dior, okay? But I'm not a big fan of Gucci at all. But I do have one Gucci crossbody that I showed, okay? So, let's move on to the next question. Okay, so the next question was, how do I store my LV wallets? And guys, I got this cosmetic case. As you can see, I do have another one. I will show you guys. I got this from Ross in the home goods department. Um, two of them was just sitting there. When I saw it, I grabbed it and I was like, I know I can make some use of it. And I absolutely did. I also saw that these were on Amazon. So I will try to find the link and link it below. But once I saw that I was able to grab what I wanted right then and there, I did so. So I didn't want to wait to Amazon to ship me anything. I saw it and I grabbed it. But it is, let me see, one, two, three, four drawers. And the bottom one is bigger, as you can see. So it's one, two, three, four. As you can see, it does come out. Okay. I have my passport in here. And guys, I like that it's clear. It's easy for me to see. I had all of my wallets, um, my passport holder, I had them in a drawer. But this sits on my dresser by my perfume and it's so easy to see my wallets and grab what I need. This has my three key holders. Okay. And then this has my unfront key holder and the unfront um, wallet. And it's just a, a better way to stay organized. Okay. So as stated, it's one, two, three. And the last one is bigger so you can fit more things inside. But this one definitely came in handy with it being clear. I can see everything, um, make sure I have everything. And when I switch bags, I can also switch wallets. It's right here in my face. I cannot miss it. Let me go over to the next cosmetic case so I can show you what I have inside. Okay, so in this cosmetic case, as I showed you, I do have two. In this one, I have like the bigger wallets in there and they're singled by themselves. And as I shown you, um, this one actually does not 
have the bigger um, opening at the bottom. This has five shelves instead of the other one having three and having a bigger department at the bottom. This one is split into five different ways. At the top, I have the most beautiful wallet, which is the Juliet wallet. I absolutely adore this wallet and many of you guys do too. So I have her sitting at the top. So whenever I wear a reverse purse, um, the on the go MM in the reverse print. I love, love wearing it with this, uh, with this wallet. So she's at the top, so I can always see her. Okay, another reverse uh, wallet here. And she's actually bigger. I haven't worn this wallet yet, um, but I will find time to do so. Uh, I do love her, and she will not leave my collection. It's just... I actually have other wallets that I'm using at the time. And once I receive the Juliet wallet, it counts with everything else. <laughs> okay. The Demiri Bean. I haven't used her yet either. But if I do decide to, she's here. <laughs> And in the middle, that is the cigarette holder. I used to use the cigarette holder to hold my lip gloss to um, just to protect the inside of my bag. But when I got the mini pochette and the um, game on a cosmetic bag, I didn't use. I don't need this anymore. So the cigarette holder is still here in my um, collection. I will not depart just in case I do need to use her for something. I do have the rose ballerina card holder as you can see, and also the reverse card holder. Okay, so this one definitely does come in handy. I absolutely love having this cosmetic case in my collection, both of them. I do, I believe I do have the link, but if I don't, I will go back and look for it on Amazon, but I purchased these at Ross, the Ross in the Home and Goods Department. So guys, check your local Ross if you have Ross in your state. Check Ross, but if not, um, I believe, like I said, I do have the link, I believe, saved. I will go and look for it, and I will link the, um, I will link it below to where you can go and just purchase off Amazon and get it shipped to you, okay? So, let's move on to the very last question. Okay, so this is the last and final question, and it was, Marquita, how do you store your keychains? And this is how. At the bottom, I do have my little fur balls. So I do have pink, brown, and red. Let me show you guys. I love sticking these fur balls on my bag. They add so much. I love this pink fur ball with my um, Neverfull, my Demiri Bean with the rose ballerine pink inside. I love, love, love having this on there. And of course, my brown one, which is much smaller, and the red. I use the red on my Demir Bean Graceful PM because it does have the red interior and I love adding this on there. So, I just keep these three held at the bottom as I showed you before. I just keep them right here so they can be in eyesight just whenever I need to use them but I am gonna take them off so I can show you guys what I have. Okay, I like to keep my bigger key charms on here. And it comes with, let's see, it's actually supposed to be this way, but um, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Guys, this was actually, this is actually a jewelry holder. As you can see at the bottom, you can leave earrings, um, you can leave your bracelets here, you can hang your bracelets up, or you can put your bracelets here. And it's for necklaces. Basically, like I said, it's a jewelry holder. But when I saw it, it is rose pink, which I absolutely love. I did grab this off of Amazon. And as you can see, it does have the larger key charms all together. Okay. Let me turn it the correct way. 
all of my key charms. And this is not an LV key charm. This was actually gifted to me, but my name is Marquita and this M is absolutely cute. I haven't worn it yet, but if I do decide, I will have to pick one bag and I will add it. Of course, the beautiful Game On Heart luggage tag. Christmas edition, 2020 luggage tag. And I got this key holder in the dolphin print. Um, I had it actually to wear on my jeans and I just had it hanging. I haven't worn it, I haven't attached any of my keys. I just had it on my belt loop and it was just hanging. So I just actually used this for decoration because I do have the uh, dolphin bag and I love wearing the passenger sandals. And so I had on blue jeans, I had on a blue shirt and I added this brown. It was absolutely cute together. Okay, so I didn't use this to hold keys. I actually purchased this to decorate and just to bring out my outfit. And the reverse bag charm. Crafty bag charm. And the game on card. Luggage tag. Okay, so I'm very picky. So I have these guys, all of the bigger luggage tags and bag charms on one jewelry holder. So I just, if I know I need a larger key charm or I need a bag tag, I know to come over to this one, okay? And I call it LV Station One. I do name everything in my closet. So this is LV Station One. This is the bigger luggage tags and key charms, okay? Moving right along, these are my key chains. As you can see, I have my party bum bag here and the party palm spring. These are bracelet guys, which you guys know, if you've um, seen previous videos, if you visit my Instagram page, I wear these as anklets. I don't wear them as bracelets. I just feel like they're too big and they will get in the way. So I put them on my ankles. Why? I don't know, but it looks absolutely cute. <laughs> okay. And you guys know how I feel about the multi pochettes. If you view my recent video, I use this round coin purse um, as stated for decoration. I'll put it on my jeans. I will add it to another bag, but I absolutely love this coin purse, okay? And I just keep it down here below. These are the keychains. I would take them off one by one. This is an LV keychain. It has pink little diamonds inside. I know you probably can't see it from the glare, but um, this is an LV keychain and it has pink little rhinestone diamonds inside. Not real diamonds, but you guys know what I mean. And I also have the LV extenders. I have two of these, as you can see, and these are very, very important. For those that love longer crossbody purses, this is awesome to add. I have two of those. And this is another LV keychain that I absolutely adore. It's in a much giant print. Okay. Dice keychain. Another LV keychain, and it does have the flower charms attached. Another LV keychain.
And this is another extender. Like I stated before, I do keep two. And this is a key charm that I got off of Amazon. This is not from LV, but it looks absolutely gorgeous against any purse that has the Roll Ballerine pink included. This will go awesome with it. And this is another non LV keychain that has one of my favorite colors, the Rose Ballerine Pink as well. And here's one just like the last one I showed, but it's in red and it has maroon, the beige and brown colors that we all love. So this will go perfect with the Demir Evine Graceful PM. And last but not least, this little cute baby. I don't wear her because <laughs> she's she's silver. She has silver on the key holder. So um, none of my bags have silver hardware. All of it has gold hardware, and I just feel like it, it will clash. But it's absolutely gorgeous. But like I said, the hardware is, is silver, so... It's hard for me to add to any of my bags, but it'll, it'll look cute adding it to your jeans. Or if I do have a bag that I come across that does have silver hardware, then I will add this cutie, okay? Okay guys, so that does wrap up today's video. I answered all of the emails that I could get to. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. You can also email me at marquitalvluxury at gmail.com. I will love, love, love to receive your email. You guys give me inspiration. You're very, very positive. And you always give me different ideas on different content that I can show you guys. Um, visit me on Instagram at Marquita LV Luxury. I would love to be friends. Send me a DM just speaking, saying hello. I do respond back. So as always, guys, stay blessed and stay safe. Until next time, happy holidays.